Hey guys, it's Alex, aka Novia, and I want to cry because I missed that intro so much. <laughs> oh my god, y'all, this is a little sad. <laughs> I want to cry. Every time I look back at my old videos, I think, God, she was so much happier back then before her channel got exposed. Now she feels like she can't do anything in the world because her whole reputation has been ruined by some bitchy idiot who decided to leak her channel. No offense to you, Megan. I still love you. Sometimes. But, yeah. I just... Things were so much easier back then. They were so much more simple. And I felt more comfortable. But now I just feel so attacked and so, like, claustrophobic to post. So that's why I haven't been posting as much as I used to. Like, looking back, I used to love this so much. And now it's all just been ruined because of like one person leaking my channel which I'll probably that's the one thing I'll just never forgive her for because you can see if you scroll back to like the first video I ever posted look at all of those videos look how close they are together no edits in between them it's all just these videos posted at different times but like sometimes it'd be like twice a day <laughs> there were three videos in one day once three videos in one day that was before my channel got leaked and it makes me really sad to like look over it and think, oh my god, this was an era where I was just, where people like love to watch me and now people are unsubscribing because I'm not posting as much. And that makes me so sad. And I'm so disappointed that I let you guys down. So to possibly and hopefully build up my channels enthusiasm back again i'm posting part two to an old video that some of you might remember if you've been on my channel a while then you know i posted a video a while back which was a camp video where you and eddie do stuff in a ton if you know you know and you guys go on camp and check with the whole, ga the whole gang and it's very hectic and then when it comes tonight things happen and yeah so one of my friends actually been telling me to do a part two <laughs> to this video but unfortunately because my channel got exposed and i'm just so uncomfortable it won't be spicy because i would bake it spicy if i was still like able to but now i can't do that anymore so live off love but here we go camp video part two this is so sad. This is like how I used to do my old thumbnails. I mean, y'all, I can't. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. I remember exactly how that video ended, so I'm just gonna go from there. So, that video ended with Nancy telling you guys to pack up all the stuff and load it back into Steve's dad's... What the fuck is it called? Oh, I forgot what it's called. Fuck to go RV, that's it. Oh my god. Yeah, so y'all load everything back into Steve's <laughs> dad's RV. And you, you guys are heading back. So Steve starts off driving and then switches between him and Jonathan, like, every now and then. I mean, normally it would be switching between Jonathan, Steve, <laughs> Argal, and Eddie, but like, you guys know that Argyle is probably too high to even drive, and, um, Eddie, well, yeah, anyway, <laughs> so, you guys are driving back, you guys are, you're sitting with, like, Nancy and Robin, Max, Elle, and Erica, <laughs> while Eddie is sitting with, um, like, near the front, so Steve can also, like, get in the conversation, but he's sitting with, uh, Jonathan Argyle, uh, Mike, Will, Lucas, and uh, Dustin. And they're all talking about what happened between you two that night. Okay, so tell us everything. Yeah, like in great detail. Ew, I want everything in great detail. You guys can discuss that on your own time. Me and Elle don't want to hear about that. Yeah, that's disgusting. And I doubt Erica does either. Yeah, no. Uh. Talk about that on your own time, guys, please. Right, okay, just save the details for me and Robin. Just tell us 
what happened like how to happen how to go was it good was it bad just so how was it <laughs> it was interesting <laughs> interesting with all the words you have dang i mean i was expecting something better than interesting I wonder what he'll say when he hears he said that <laughs> how did it start anyway like who came on a who So, he came on to you. Why? Like, that's so risky. I mean, you guys knew we were, all he we were all here. And just to remind you, these are tents, not thick walls. We can hear everything. I couldn't sleep because of you guys. I put my pillow over my head. Oh my god. You know what? Just answer this question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good is he? <laughs> a 7 and a half. Oh. <laughs> I bet he'll be interested to hear that. <laughs> but we won't tell him. Promise. Won't tell him. I swear. Don't mind me, I'm straightening my hair whilst recording. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is over now with the boys. So how was it? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it just okay? I don't know. What do you want me to say? The truth? I mean, is she good? Is she not good? Is she decent? I mean, yeah, she's good. Like... Really good. <laughs> hey, like Nancy's any better. <sighs> you haven't even, like, done it with her, so you wouldn't know. But she's great. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. If her and Listener, like, went up against each other, Listener would win. Well, yeah, I'd have to actually back Eddie up on that one. Listener would win. How do you know? Please, you think I haven't slept with both of them? <coughs> that is true, you have, actually. Exactly. And listeners better, in my opinion. Well, it's gonna be too happy when she was about that. Whatever, where X is, it's over anyway. She's yours now, Jonathan. Got it. Okay, so, like, what would you rate her? Like, on a scale, like, 1 to 10. How good is she? Nine, not a ten. What does she do wrong? She doesn't do anything wrong. Then why is she a ten? Not not a ten. Sorry. I don't know. It's just something. I don't know. You do know why? Tell us. I guess can't tell anyone. You of course be well. Why is she bad? She's not good at, like, being dumb. What? <clears throat> she's not good at- she's not good at talking, we get it, okay? I heard you. Jesus, we ain't here. Yeah, dude, you can't just, like, scream that in my ears. They hurt. They're ringing now. I think that's enough weed, I got. Mm, yeah. God, why is it so smoky in here? God, Argyle. She's bad at doming you? I mean... Yeah. <coughs> why just told you stays between us, okay? Yeah, of course. Cross my heart. Or did I? Yeah, totally, dude. Yeah, we got your, we got your back. Or you're too, you're too hot to process anything right now. Yeah, but I'll keep that secret. That she's bad. He won't tell anyone. Hey, did you just lick my hand? You do not cover my mouth, Jonathan. That is disgusting. Well, you licking my hand doesn't make it any better. Shut up. Anyway, Steve, you're ready to 
switch over. Yeah, let me just pull over. I can't. Oh my god. Why is it? I literally just came up with that on the spot. I can't lie. So, <laughs> um, it's been like a few hours and you guys get back home. Well, not like to your own houses, but you're all at Nancy's right now. Well, Nancy and Mike's just chilling out. When you walk through the door, like her mom is there to greet you all. Welcome back, you guys. Hey, Miss Wheeler. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. So, how was your trip? It was, um, good. Why don't you ask Listener Eddie how it was? I hate you. Let me do. Um, okay. So, how was your trip? Do you too? <laughs> oh, Miss Wheeler, they had a great time. <laughs> Yeah, they had, um, it was really rough, but yeah, they made it through the night. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that, like, you know, like, listener even lasted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, we, um, put, like, their, the sheets they use in, like, a plastic bag, so. <laughs> oh my god, will you guys stop teasing these two? You guys are acting like children. You guys are adults. And Maxine, you should know about this stuff. Sorry, Miss Wheeler, but I grew up with Billy. You should know that it's pretty common for me to hear things like that. Okay, yeah, that I can understand, but still. Leave these two alone. They're adults and they know what they're doing. Do they? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Sorry, Miss Wheeler, about them. They're... Just, they've been teasing about it, teasing us about it all morning. I bet. <laughs> well, um, I left some snacks for you guys uh, downstairs in the basement. If you guys wanted to go check those out. What you? We didn't say what time we'd be back. How long have they been there? Oh, I just pulled them out of the oven. And I heard like the car blowing up, and I thought, you know, why not? Okay. Thanks, mom. Of course. Well, I'll be up here if you need me then, like more drinks or snacks or whatever. Okay. Thanks. Come on, guys, let's go. You all head down to the basement, and you all are just kind of sitting, like, as a group. Not like boys and girls kind of huddling together. You just guys are all sitting together this time. So, that was fun. Yeah, what trip should we go on next? <gasps> water park. <sighs> really? A water park? That's so lame. Why don't we go, like, a haunted house? You want to stay overnight in a haunted house? That's terrifying. No thank you, count me out. Oh, come on, you're such a party pooper, Eleven. I want to spend overnight in a haunted house, that's terrifying. I must agree with Eleven on that one. I'm not spending like a whole entire night in a haunted house, you insane, Max. You guys are so lame, it's because you guys are like the girly girls of the group. Well, I'm a listener, but still. I'm just gonna, I'm just scaredy cats. I mean, I'd be so down for that. Thank you, Robin. Of course, got your back. <laughs> so, um, what should we do now? Yo, dudes, you wanna hear something funny? <laughs> oh god, is he high still? No, I'm like totally sober right now, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I think he's still high. I'm not still high, oh my god, just, okay. Guys, he's not lying. He's all good. Okay, what do you say? Oh yeah, basically, when we were on the way back, Eddie said some shit, man. That was really funny. What do you say? I swear to God, if you dump me in right now, we're gonna shut up. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. It's fine. Basically, he said that listener was like, well, actually, wait, I asked him this question, right? Like, how good is she? Is she? She. On a scale of 1 to 10. And he said a 9. <laughs> a 9? You rated your own girlfriend a 9 out of, out of 10? Why not a 10? Just no reason. It's just, I mean, not everybody's perfect. <laughs> is that so? Nobody's perfect? But, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like 
Y'all, my dudes, there is a reason for it. What's the reason? She's bad at doming. <coughs> what? You said she's bad at being dominant? Uh, no. You know, Jonathan, brought me up here, man. Sorry, Eddie, the word's kind of out. He did say that. <coughs> Are you serious? I'm gonna voice you guys for like just a slither to make this make a little bit more sense. <laughs> So you think I'm bad at doming? No, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like you're just too controlling. You take advantage. Take advantage? Are you kidding me? Seriously, you know, to be honest, listener, you didn't even rate him high when we asked you the same question. Yo, what? I asked listener. Out of 10, how good she would rate Eddie, and she said 7.5. <coughs> no, that's cold, dude. That's cold. Damn, listener, that low? Okay, see, you haven't stopped with him. <coughs> I, I don't need to. He's that bad. Are you serious right now? Are you Okay, I rate you a 9, and you give me a 7.5. What do I do wrong? Uh... <laughs> God. Yeah, you never told us the reason why you rated him a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, what's the reason for it, listener? Huh? <sighs> do I have to tell you? Yeah! I mean, the word's kind of out now, so might as well tell us. Okay, I rate him a 7.5 because <sighs> I mean this in a nice way and I, honest to god, I still love you so much, but I mean, <laughs> you're not the best I've had. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's bad. Cold. I'm sorry. It's just I've had better. Who? <laughs> Steve? <laughs> Steve the Hair Harrington is better? Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys like totally gonna break up now? I, I don't know. I mean, you're not terrible. I mean, I rate you over a five, and but Steve was just so much better. I'm sorry. <sighs> that oh my god, that is that's insane. God, really? Some of a damn. Steve's better. Just by a little. Are you okay over there, Eddie? You seem a little, uh. I don't know. Are you crying? No, not crying. He wants to cry. Definitely. So Steve is better than me? Can you like shut up right now? You're the one who started this. I didn't start anything. I just told y'all some truth. And to be honest, Nancy, you're the one who dug me in. I ain't dug you in. Our girl was talking about like what what Eddie said, and I just brought it up. So I think it was only fair. I mean, if he admits to it, maybe you should too. Are you serious? I mean. You didn't break him with 7.5, and I think he deserves to know that. I mean, like, you too, Max? Seriously? Hey, guys, calm down. 
like not that deep, not that deep. I just got rated a seven point five compared to you. Yeah, but like she doesn't mean it, obviously. Like right, listener. Um. See, she meant it. You guys are telling this is like a joke or something, like. Nancy, what would you say if Jonathan said that, like, some other girl he talked up with was better than you? I'd beat his ass. She'd pull out her guns on him. <laughs> I, I need air. Hey, don't be like that. No, I don't, I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay, I just don't want to talk to you. Without hesitation, Eddie just walks out the room and up the stairs. He is crushed. How could you say that? Steve is better? Shit. We took it too far, didn't we? Took what too far? Okay, so... We were kidding around in the RV. You were what? Okay, so me, Max, Listener, Robin, Elle, and Eric, I thought it'd be funny if we played a prank on you guys. A prank? Yeah. So I asked Listener what she would rate Eddie out of 10 as a joke, and she rated him low, and in fact that you were, and said they were better. So, so a big joke, but like, was Argon on it or something? No? I just knew Argyle would say something about it, eventually, because he's too high to function. So... <laughs> so Zolt is a huge prank? Yeah, but we definitely went too far with it. I mean, come on, do you really think the listener would say you're better? No. Exactly. I think we just overstepped the- we just overstepped. Well, you need to adopt him, like, right now, listener, because he is clearly just depressed. I know. I said this prank was stupid at first, but then I was like, you know what, sure, I'll play along, because I'm dumb. You're not dumb, it's just meant to be a harmless joke. I know he'd actually get upset. <sighs> be right back. You get up and walk upstairs and out the door. You go outside to see Eddie's fan against the wall as he smokes a cigarette. You know, because he only, he only does that when he's depressed. Or just sad. Yeah. Eddie, I'm sorry about what happened. Yeah, you're sorry. It's always the excuse, isn't it? You're just sorry for everything you say that you mean as like a joke or something. But it was a joke. Me, Nancy, Robin, Erica, and Max and Eleven thought it'd be funny. It's a little prank. So that's the best thing to come up with? I mean, were they in on it? No, the guys had no idea. It was meant to be a harmless prank where Nancy asked, like, what I'd read out of And I said a little score, thinking that Argyle would hear, and he did, and ask you the same question, which obviously means your answer was honest. And I knew at some point, well, we knew at some point, that he'd repeat it because he's just, you know, too high all the time. So it's just all a harmless joke, and I don't actually think Steve is better than you. It's just meant to be a harmless joke. Okay? No, I'm sorry. It was stupid, and obviously we didn't think it through, thinking you would get so upset about it. I think anyone would get upset over that, listener. I know, that's why it was stupid. And I see that now, that it was completely inappropriate, and I'm sorry. I could never stay mad at you, and you know that. And I'm sorry about what I said too. About what? I didn't give a 9 out of 10. <laughs> so you actually mean that? I'm bad at Tommy. Do you just take advantage? <laughs> okay. You know what? The nine isn't that bad. Well, I think you're proud of being a sub. <laughs> Excuse me? 
We are game. Let's get bad at it. I mean, I'm way better being so than you are. Really? You want to make that bet? Maybe. My house tonight. You can make up for your stupid prank. <laughs> we'll see. Do you want to go back in there? Because I'm pretty sure they're ripping each other's heads off. Yeah, let's just go break that up. <laughs> so you guys walk back into the basement and you can see that Max has attacked Steve and he's now on the floor with Max on top of him ripping his hair and when well, not ripping it out, you know, just tugging on it while Nancy and Robin try to pull her off as Eric is and just cheering in the back, being like, yeah, Max, get it, girl. <laughs> and then, like, Eleven is kind of holding him down. And then, like, Argyle is kind of just uh, sat back in the chair, just smoking weed, and then Jonathan's, like, freaking out. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Stop. I did it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Max, get off of him. Hey, I wasn't done. Well, I was. Okay, just stop. Okay, you guys need to be beating up Steve, okay? What happened? <sighs> he took my last animal cracker. So, you decided to pin him down and tug him by his hair? Yes! Like any normal person would. I mean, how will you react if your friend stole your animal cracker? Oh my god, okay. Guys, just calm down. Oh my god, do you guys make up? Yeah, we did. Oh, cute. Okay, so it looks like you guys are in my room. What? I mean, because we all came back here thinking that we all should have a sleepover. So, yeah. I mean, while you were gone, we decided to have a sleepover, so... Everyone sleeps down here, but you guys can take my room. Actually, we were just gonna go back to my place. Or do that. Yeah, that's a better idea. I don't want to have to wash my sheets because of that, so... Please, go back to your place. Please do that, please. <laughs> we will, okay? <laughs> Thank God. Okay. So, um, now what? <gasps> oh my God, Steve, what now? There's a chunk of my hair on the floor. <laughs> oh my god, Steve, you're being so dramatic. It's only hair. It'll grow back. You did this, Max. You fix it. Steve, that's like three strands of hair. What do you know about hair, Levin? Shut up. <laughs> we need a funeral. Like, now. Are you kidding me? Yes, this is gonna cut to a funeral. Steve, calm down. It's literally just your hair. What? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> and what are you doing here? Oh my god, Steve. I'm your creator. Well, not your creator. I'm not the Duffer Brothers shit, but... I'm Alex. I voice you, okay? It's just your hair. Okay, calm down. We don't need a funeral because I'm too lazy to do that, okay? I don't have the time and energy to go on Google and search up, like, a freaking picture of, like, a grave and just put here live Steve Harrington's hair over it, okay? I don't have the time in my life to do that. So can you just please stop whining and just get on with your life? It's three strands of hair, Steve. So, who are you? Oh my god, hi, I'm Alex. I voice each and every one of you. But, um, I don't- I didn't create you, so. How did you turn up here? Oh, it was simple, really. I just, you know, click my fingers and here I am. Oh. Okay, so, um, can you stick his hair back on? No. I can stick his hair back- I made the storyline. I'm not gonna ruin it. <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, I just want to say, um, I don't know what I want to say. I guess just Steve stop being such a baby. Wow. That means a lot. Thank you. Of course. 
uh, Max, Lucas, you guys should totally get back together. Um, Eleven, break up with Mike. Will, get with Mike. Uh, Nancy, Jonathan, keep going strong. You guys are too cute. But then again, Nancy and Steve, I want you guys to get back together so bad. Listener, Eddie, listener, you can go to hell because <laughs> Eddie's mine and my subscribers, so stop. And uh, Argyle, stop smoking weed. And Erica, keep slaying. You're, you're great. I love you. But yeah, just calm it down, you guys. Thank you. What, what do you mean, you and your subscribers? What are subscribers? Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the 80s. Damn it. Uh, basically, they're these people that like watching my videos. Your videos? But do you make, like, videotapes or something? Oh my god, you guys are so out of touch. Basically, you'll see in, like, 20 years what I mean. Actually, 10 years. 10, 15 years from now, you'll see. But anyway, just... You guys can, uh, just... Yeah, calm down. And, um, yeah, but... Yeah, okay, just stop. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. Bye. Uh, where did she just... Um, anyway, uh, right, let's all just set the mattresses up. Can my hair? Just show up just right now? My hair! Fine! I'll ask my parents, okay? Listen, Eddie, get out of here. You guys just stay here. Yeah, we weren't planning on leaving. We were. Uh, see you guys later. I'll come back here and I'll be done. So, yeah. see you later. Yeah, have fun getting laid. I will. Gross. So, wanna play Monopoly? Well, I mean, that made me feel better, that video, because it was over 20 minutes long, and I don't think I've actually made a video over 20 minutes long that's not a part of a series since forever ago. <laughs> so, that made me feel a little bit happier. Um, I'm actually so happy I can probably go back to making these type of videos again, and I really do want to, but like, it's just all that was happening made me so upset, and I just don't know if I can ever recover from it. I wish I could just go back in time, and no one would know about my channel. I really do wish. And it's all just a little confusing, so, yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Join our family if you like VA. But if you find this weird, then I play in your algorithm. But anyway, <laughs> I love you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Comment more requests if you want me to do them. There is a request I need to post today, probably after this video is uploaded. But yeah, I'll get to that sooner or later. But I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day or night or whatever. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. Did I really just say Steve should have a funeral for his hair? What the f-